Hey guys, Adam from Quote Twin Door. Well, I thought, you know, I've done a lot of uh, videos here recently with some uh, top end gear. So let's go find some stuff that is really good quality still, but uh, a little bit easier on the pocketbook. So uh, the pocketbook, the wallet, <laughs> that's my, that's my grandmother saying right there. Anyway, guys, what I got in front of me is the uh, military sleep system, the three piece sleep system. A lot of you guys might know this, guys might love this, or hey, some of you guys uh, may not like it at all. You guys have seen me use my Gore-Tex Vivi before all the time. I really like that system. I usually bring it with me just in case, just because it's it's lightweight. Uh, it's not very large uh, in reference to pack space. I can you know roll it up, throw it on the side of my bag, and kind of a uh, you know ready to rock and roll. But here we have the kind of the classic or the new classic military three-piece sleep system. It's a very good system. This thing will stay very very warm if you're using all three pieces. Throw a Wobby in here as well, and you guys will be good to go. Now, one one thing I do have to say about this system, it is very very heavy. It weighs about nine pounds, so you got to take that in consideration. Where you might be able to find something a little bit lighter um, that might be able to serve you just as well. But I think, I actually, believe it or not, if I'm going to take something out like this, I would take the whole thing out regardless of the winter. A lot of people say the uh, the green bag, they're not really they're not really digging it. Some people would say this bag is kind of worthless. Uh, this bag you're supposed to use for anything to 30 degrees. Of course, add the add the uh, bivy if you want a little, bit, a little bit more waterproofness. Of course, the bivy is going to add some insulating value as well. And then, of course, you throw in the black bag, the winter bag, if you're going to be below 30 degrees. The green bag is going to be rated to about 30 degrees. Um, so this is kind of your summer bag or your patrol bag. And then your inter intermediate bag or your winter bag is going to be rated between uh, 30 and negative 10. For a sub-zero bag, uh, the weight is about 9 pounds. So that's going to be about double of some of your high-end bags. Uh, you're talking about some of your North Face bags that can go, you know, negative 20, but they're going to be more in like the 250 type range. So nine pounds, you're going, to, you're going to have to go along with a little bit extra weight. Well, a lot of extra weight, but you know, five pounds more bag. Throw some good wool clothes on. Have your uh, your wool be in here. You'll be good to go. I got to say, for nine pounds, I don't think it's that bad of a system. Now, and it's much more economical. You're going to look at paying something like this about 150 to 175 ish at your surplus stores if you can find them. They are, there are some online. If you look online and somebody says, hey, a four-piece military sleep system, well, Adam just talked about the three-piece. Well, that's just the, uh, the stuff bag, so <laughs> don't, be, don't be confused on that one. I guess technically it is four pieces, but this is the stuff sack. We'll stuff it up here in a second, give you guys a look-see. But this is also one of those things where if, uh, if it's summer and you don't want this, it's going to be hot outside. You definitely don't need the black bag. Of course, just pull this off. You're going to lose about four pounds of weight right there. So that's, uh, that's pretty good stuff. So let me give you guys a quick specs. We'll be right back. Before, originally this was called the US ECW Modular Sleep System. And I got to say, it's one of the warmest sleeping bags down to 30 degrees for the price. Negative 30, that is. Uh, sleep System includes a camo waterproof breathable bivy, the black patrol bag, and the intermediate olive sleeping bag. So the bivy, mummy style woodland camo, Gore-Tex breathable and waterproof, 85 inches long, 28 inches at the feet, and 35 at the shoulder, weighs about 2 pounds. The mummy style patrol bag rates 30 degrees to 50 degrees, used with the bivy bag in cold conditions. Polyguard HV resin bonded polyester filled, ripstop nylon shell, adjustable hood, nylon zippers, 92 by 36 inches wide, weighs about 3 pounds, and is, of course, olive drab in color. And then the black bag rated 30 degrees to negative 10 degrees, can be used with the bivy bag inserted into the patrol bag ripstop nylon shell. Polyguard HV resin bonded polyester hood, 85 by 35 and one inch wide, weighs four pounds and it's black. And then of course we'll talk about the compressed stuff sack here in a little while. Now if you use all three pieces together, they rate at negative 30 degrees, which is pretty good for a price tag of what we're talking about. So great stuff all in all. All right guys, so we got it all packed up right here. It's not bad at all. Some compression straps, so this is the, the fourth piece. So I just wanna do a little size comparison. I got another bag here though. This is a Gander Mountain brand zero degree bag. Uh, this is probably weighs a couple, maybe a pound and a half less than this one, but it runs about $100. So it's going to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, but, you know, of course, this is a zero degree bag. This isn't three bags and one with a uh, Gore-Tex bivy. So just give you guys a perspective, this is definitely kind of more in the range of, uh, you can do a lot more with this. But, of course, it's not going to be something like, you know, a North Face negative 20 rated bag that's going to run, you know, anywhere 200, 250 bucks. So pretty good stuff. And you might be able to find these things really inexpensively. You know, a lot of you know military units selling these at the surplus stores. You can find them, like I said before, anywhere between the 140 mark to maybe 175. If you buy them piece by piece, you might be able to get them cheaper. I think the Cortex Vivi by itself, I love it. I, you know, I've got two of them. 
and they're they're great they're a great uh, piece of kit can't say enough good things about them with any sleeping bag because they really just make it up so i hope you guys enjoyed that we'll have some more videos of this coming in the near future just want to kind of do a quick overview for you guys give you guys that to check out so the military three-piece sleeping system if you guys have any experiences with this positive or negative why don't you leave the comments below all right guys adam from equipped door if you guys have any questions or comments you can email me at adam at equipped you guys take care be safe out there and remember if you're not always prepared you're never prepared thanks